Well, they say the kitchen is the heart of the home and it can also be the most expensive room to renovate. That is true, and we have enlisted the help of our reno queen, Cherie Barber, to deliver an incredible kitchen transformation, but you won't believe the price. Okay, Britt, this is the kitchen. Wow. Seen better days. Yes, it definitely has. It's obviously a kitchen that's been here for the last 30 years or so. The problem is, to install a brand new kitchen these days, it's going to cost the owners 20 to 40,000 that they don't have. So how much are you going to do it for? $2,000. It'll extend the life of the kitchen by another five years, then demolish. Where did time I close my eyes? What else are you going to do to change the look of this? Well, an old calendar is not a tiles flashback. The paint colour scheme here is really, really drab. And the old cabinets look really dated as well. They just need to be cosmetically refreshed. First up, Cherie is decluttering the benches and cleaning the kitchen from top to toe. So just what are you doing with the tiles here? Well, the old tiles are looking really drab, very 70s. So when you're tile painting, it's best to work in small sections like this. You know, I normally do like three or four tiles. You've got to undercoat first. The undercoat makes sure the tile paint sticks to your tiles for years to come. We're also repurposing the old bench tops to cut down the budget. The old bench tops are in really good condition. They're just a pretty horrible colour. So I'm just using the White Knight laminate paint on them, two coats of that with the primer. And then once that's dry, I'll put a protective gloss coating and they'll look like brand new bench tops. You'd never know they were the old. And Cherie is proving a fresh coat of paint can go a long way. Cherie, I'm loving this colour. It's almost like a Tiffany green. It is. It's called Taubman Sussex. I'm doing the feature wall here. I've got white bench tops and I'm going to do the cabinets in the same colour just for colour continuity. And this will stand out nicely. If I did this kitchen all white, it'd be a bit boring, so it's just giving it some personality. We've left the paint to dry overnight before adding some new features, including a budget splashback. Literally pop it in. And so much better than the calendar they had before, right? I know. And the good thing is, no tradies, so it's perfect for those people who are renovating on a budget. Cherie is also creating some much-needed vertical storage space with these flexible $90 shelves. They had a lot of stuff on their benches before, so it's taking it off their benches and putting it on your wall. And it also, being open, it just makes the kitchen appear more spacious as well. You're replacing the cabinet handles. Why have you decided to do that? Well, these were the old ones in the kitchen and they look pretty tired, so I'm just replacing them with some new chrome ones instead. They're just going to modernise the kitchen and make it look a lot fresher. The old curtains have been replaced with some custom Venetian blinds. And Cherie has found a practical pantry solution. But you remember that they had an old bookcase and all their pantry stuff was exposed? Yeah, it wasn't very attractive. Food products are not a styling item, so close the doors, get them in a pantry. Every kitchen needs a pantry. Looks so much better, doesn't it? It looks like a completely different kitchen. Yeah, well, it's definitely the old kitchen. It's just been cosmetically refreshed. Gone are the old daggy 70s cabinets, even though they're really there. Just goes to show the power of paint, right? Definitely. And you've got a fresh new table here too, which I'm yeah. loving. Our friends at Fantastic Furniture actually donated this for the family. The old table, which was really dark and dated. I think now having this in the centre of the room, there's going to be lots of meals here. The biggest thing I noticed is the layout. We had the old fridge, the freezer, the old bookcase. So we've pushed it to that wall over there. So we've freed up a lot of space. It's warm and inviting. Definitely a family friendly kitchen now. Welcome to my house. It's my house. Oh, I wasn't sure about that green, that, the mint green, but it looks great. That's incredible. To do that in a weekend for $2,000. Now, if you want to learn how to do it, go and see Cherie Barber live. She is travelling around the country. Visit renovatingforprofit.com.au. Very good.